Hi there, my name's Andy and I work here at Tudor House and I love maps. What I really like about them is that you can literally map out a time and a place because every single map was made at a particular time for a particular reason. And I'm standing next to a map unlike any other that I've seen. So I'd like to show you it in a bit more detail now. And here it is. You'll notice it's from 1878. And the title of it is Drink Map of Southampton. And there are lots and lots and lots of red dots all over the place. And each red dot shows us where there's a beer house, somewhere that's licensed to sell beer and spirits, or another sort of drinking establishment. And there are 522 in total on the map. There are lots and lots and lots. The idea of the map was to show people about the problems in society because they believed that these pubs were the cause. And if they could get rid of them, then things would be better. It didn't work very well, unfortunately for them, because people would buy the maps and then seem to have used them for seeing where their next drink might be. But it is fascinating, because as well as the map, it came with a bit of information, a pamphlet called The Reason Why. And you can see that it's made by the St Mary's Church of England Temperance Society, Southampton. And the president was a man called Reverend Canon Basil Wilberforce. It's unlikely that you've heard of him before, but you might have heard of his grandfather, who was called William Wilberforce, and he was a famous campaigner against slavery. They're really different campaigns. But I find it fascinating that two men in the same family were both involved in campaigning for things that they really, really believed in, showing that over time, families can continue the same story together. Thanks for watching.